everyone, my name is Tiffany. I'm the Tipsy Artist. And today we are painting a beautiful mason jar. And I'm going to show you my inspiration. This is from one of my classes. And here it is, Love Never Fails. Today uh, we will actually be working on, this is an 11 by 14 canvas. And I use templates in all of my shows and they are wonderful. It's very easy to trace and it makes the process very, very easy. And uh, that's one of the things that people really appreciate about my classes when they show up is they don't have to worry about drawing anything. We are actually making this to where you can just download it on your computer then you will be able to print this out just like this and then cut it out with your scissors and then you can just trace around it right onto the canvas. I do have a heavier cardstock with me today. It does make it a little bit easier. I definitely prefer Sharpies. If you want to use pencils, you know, that's fine. It's up to you. The Sharpie will actually come through the paint. I actually appreciate that. And so I just go ahead and come all the way around this shape. And we're actually going to have flowers just covering the whole top of this anyway, so that kind of just becomes irrelevant. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and just trace all the way around this. There we go. And voila, there is our mason jar, our beautiful, beautiful mason jar. So what comes next for me will be some roses. So I just kind of do this big lumpy circle just like that and I can make them kind of small, you know, just some little ones. I don't even worry about pattern over the top yet. And then I go ahead and I do some leaves, make what looks like a parentheses and then make another parentheses and those connect and there's your leaf. All right, let's do that again. And then you can make these in all kinds of different sizes too. That's why I encourage you to kind of play with this and learn how to draw this out uh, because it gives you a lot of freedom as you continue on and it's so easy to do. So you can make lots of different sizes. Make lots of these and maybe we can make a big one that comes down like that. The next step is that very popular shiplap look that everybody's just so in love with. Um, it's just old weathered wood so it's very beautiful has a timeless quality to it uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and just start and kind of just start wherever all right so happy with that make sure it's straight and and make a line that goes like so you can do more if you want more that's up to you all right so I'm gonna continue that line all the way across so very easy Again, this is always about being easy and fun, all right? Okay, uh, first thing is a bucket of water, paper plates, all right? And I have Big Daddy, Mama, Little Buddy, and then I have Little Bit. All right, uh, so paint. Let's talk about paint. I just use basic student grade acrylic paint. I always make sure I start with basic colors, which are uh, like an orange, purple, yellow, gold, black, white, red, cobalt blue, and emerald green. And I do have a list of those on my uh, supply list on my website. All right, so I've got my white acrylic paint here on my plate. All right, so I've got my white paint here. Then I wanna make sure I have a little bit of the black nearby. So I'm gonna just do a little bit of that. And then I want a little bit of the gold. So I'm going to have some gold nearby here too. Put that down. All right. And then Big Daddy. All right, so I'm going to push in a little bit of white now and start pushing back and forth into the white. And then I want to add a little bit of gold. So a teeny amount of gold. I'm going to just kind of push a little bit of gold right there, a little corner. Mix that in. All right, and then little touch of the black. So a little touch of black here, just like that. Push that in. All right, so we're gonna have a nice kind of a taupe uh, color that we're going to mix up. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just start to push this back and forth. Don't worry about your design work. If you did it with a Sharpie, the Sharpie is going to show through, which is awesome. 
The other thing that you can do is you can kind of touch into a little bit of the gold and you kind of push that through a little bit here too. We're at a stage now, it's mostly dry here in the center, so I need some cobalt blue to start with. It's emerald green, and then we have white. And then I'm going to just pick up that, that, and that. And this will give me a very beautiful turquoise color. Check the end of it. All right, it's still beautifully thin. I'll go ahead and give you a little visual there on that. Okay, nice and thin. And then you can uh, make this line edge that comes in through here. Okay, just like that. All right, now we're going to come in with some roses. And I like the look of some pink roses and some purple roses. So I'm gonna put some red down first. And I think I might try some coral too, that would be pretty. So I'm gonna do some white. And then I'm gonna do some orange. That will be very helpful with my coral color. Got that nearby. And then I will also have a little bit of purple. I like to have a lot of bright colors nearby to kind of play with and pull them into the shape. I think that's a, a, a nice way to approach it. So it allows kind of a spontaneous, whimsical approach to it so that as you're building the textures of the rose, you can actually kind of play with it, maybe pull in some of those more dramatic colors in there too. All right, so here is my mama brush, and I'm going to mix up some pink. So I'm going to take a nice dollop of the red, and then start small with the white, do a little bit of white. I'm gonna make a hot pink. So a little bit of the white will bring me to a hot pink color, which is quite lovely. If you do want a very light pink color, then you just keep going, you add a lot of white and that that will give you a really pretty light baby pink color. Now I want to go ahead and work in some leaves. So that'll be fun. So for my leaves, emerald green. I might have a little bit of yellow if you want to go bright. Definitely white. So I'm going to go ahead and push in a little bit of white. It gives me a beautiful spring green. Now if you do the yellow, you'll notice it, it really warms it up a lot. Definitely add some warmth to it. Then if you want to come back in with your little bit brush, I'm gonna go ahead and do a little twist here. So you can see I'm gonna twist it between my fingertips like this, and this will load up my brush nicely. So I've got a lot of white here. I'm gonna mix that with that pink that I've already mixed up. So if I do a little bit of orange with this, it makes this gorgeous coral color. So I think I'm gonna add a little touch of that too. Okay. Then I'm gonna do, as I mentioned, one more shade lighter. So now I come in with just pure white. I'm going to go into just pure red now. Then I need to bring it to a much 
lighter shade of lavender. So I'm going to be putting in a lot more white into that lavender that we already mixed up. So it's going to become very light. But this is that next layer. Little Buddy and dark purple, and I just want a little spot of it. So I'm going to take the handle of this brush and I'm going to dip it directly into the white so that it looks like a fun little, almost like just a little baby's breath that happens in here. Dip right into that purple. And then what we're going to do is we're going to create a really pretty dark charcoal look. And I want my white here and then that black. I'm going to come in a lot heavier with the black this time because this is a nice dark charcoal gray that we're wanting because we definitely want contrast over this background here. And this part really scares you and you're not feeling at all confident with the line, then I highly recommend using the ruler on this. Take that ruler and place it just underneath that line. See, I'm still seeing my line from earlier. Then I can just run the brush along the top and just, just like that. There it is. There's my shiplap. Now, before you move this ruler over to another section and do that work, you really want to make sure you dry it off completely because if you don't, you're going to have wet paint, wet dark paint, mind you, marking up your canvas where you don't want it to go. So you do have to make sure that you completely clean your ruler. Make sure it's very dry and that there's no more wet paint on there. So I've done that now and I've got a nice clean dry ruler and I can do the same thing over here on this side where I just place it just underneath that line. Hold that steady and then run that across the top and then lift off carefully. And then there is your line for your shiplap design. And then if you do feel comfortable doing the free-handed work, then you can absolutely go for it. Again, just make sure your line is very thin. And then, you know, take this all the way across here. And then that's all you need. It's just a very delicate line that comes across the back. Okay, so this is exciting. This, we're done, this was easy, this was fun, this is so relaxing. And you can do all this at home with very minimal supplies. I have all the supplies on my website. Remember I've got the template that you can just download very easily on our website. And print it out on your computer, cut it out, trace it. We just had very simple supplies with brushes and acrylic paint and this beautiful little 11 by 14 canvas and now you have a beautiful work of art that you can hang in your home and it is lovely and it made you feel good and now you're relaxed <sighs> so it's all good it's all beautiful we created pure joy today so thank you so very much for joining me today and please subscribe to our channel tipsy artist you can see the subscribe channel down there uh, we loved it visit with you every week we'll be back bringing you more of these videos and more templates and more beautiful designs and thank you so much Mwah.